Hey guys, and welcome to this week's Fab and Five. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the new Hourglass Vanish Blush Stick. So this is a, one of those videos where it's kind of like the holy smokes, that's expensive. I should start a series called Holy Smokes That's Expensive, and we'll just test really expensive products because this is $62 Canadian, 46 US, very expensive either way. Like that's a lot of money for a blush stick, so this better be pretty sweet. Today we're gonna test, is it pigmented? Is it blendable? Does it sit nicely on the makeup? I'm gonna test it over top and underneath powder. I'll probably do a little wear test, so if you're interested in finding out more about the Hourglass Vanish Blush Stick, then keep on watching. Okay, so as I said, very, very expensive. Holy smokes, that is expensive. I actually like that, we're gonna do it. So this is supposed to be a creamy blush stick that delivers weightless, buildable color in skin perfection finish so it has antioxidants that keep the skin conditioned and moisturized so it's not going to dry out your skin this also has emollients to provide comfortable wear and keep the skin hydrated as well so it's a silky cream to powder formula that blends seamlessly into the skin for a natural pop of color so this is the actual packaging is it not like the most beautiful thing ever it's basically the exact same packaging as the stick foundation which I love also but it is gold which I like a door so this is the actual like product in the again same you know packaging and format as the foundation that triangular tip i got it in the shade sacred which is like a peachy coral that's one swipe look at how pigmented that is so what i'm going to quickly do is go ahead off camera and put on you know primer foundation cream contour and then i will come back and do blush okay so i'm actually really pumped to try this because i really like this color i'm going to directly apply it onto the sponge let's see what we get it's definitely still pigmented but it's not like overbearing like it looked like it was going to be from my hand so i definitely recommend applying it to the sponge or the brush that is beautiful I was like, didn't think it was gonna look this good. I, for some reason, just from the swatch, like it just seemed like it was a little bit harder to blend than I would like, but it's actually looking really nice. It's looking, ooh, it's looking a part of the skin and everything. I'm just gonna kind of blend my contour up into it. As you can see, it just looks like a part of the skin. It doesn't look too pigmented, yet it still looks, you know, really nice. It's like a nice pop of color. Um, it blended perfectly like I really have no complaints So what I'm gonna go ahead and do on this side is use a brush so I'm tapping off the excess and then I'm gonna go in and just stamp it Oh, yeah, it looks really nice with the brush as well Both brush and sponge works really well and it's really easy both ways like they blend out really really nice like, I'm really loving this color, but also really loving the formula more than I actually expected. Like I said, it didn't lift any of the foundation or concealer, it didn't mess with the makeup at all. It just layered nicely on top and kind of just melted in, which is exactly what I like. What I'm gonna go ahead and do actually is finish up my makeup and I will come back to show you guys what it's looking like with a full face of makeup and also to just pop a little bit extra on top of the powder to see if that's you know doable. So I will be right back after I finished up my makeup. Okay guys, so I'm back, finished my makeup, did really simple look, and I'm absolutely loving this. Really just looks like it's a part of the skin as you can see. I'm really impressed so far. Now here's the test of whether we can do it over top of powder. Make them a little bit more rosy and see if shifts the foundation or the powder. Yeah, no, it didn't play with it. I do think that it works on top of powder and underneath powder, obviously. Um, so I do think it is a versatile formula. It blends out really, really well. It's easy to work with. It's definitely pigmented, but not like overbearing like I thought it might be. So it's a really, really beautiful formula. As of right now, I personally do think that this Holy Smokes It's Expensive product is worth the money, honestly. I will see you guys in a bit to show you guys how this wore. Okay guys, so it's the end of the day. So it's been about 10 hours. So it's actually looking really good. It hasn't faded at all. It looks still looks a part of the makeup. It hasn't gone funky. So I'm really, really impressed. I honestly do think it is worth the high price tag. Obviously, if it's something that you can afford or if you want to save up for and you know invest in, and it will definitely be using it more and more. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I appreciate each and every one of you that does. Thanks so much guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.